This is our smart box. It stands for System Management, Accountability, and Recovery Toolbox. Uh, it is a toolbox that keeps track of who has removed what tool from it, and it also controls uh, what users can access what drawers. It has an alarm to keep your general users out of the top area. If any user other than master user opens the top, it sounds an alarm, and only the master user can shut that off, and he has to enter his PIN code. Next, we'll demonstrate the ability for users to access the toolbox and remove tools. We'll enter a PIN code that allows access to the first drawer. That activates a solenoid that allows us to open the first drawer. We can remove a tool, and this tool will now be logged to the first user. And there is also an LED on the front indicating that the tool has been removed, and another LED indicating that the drawer is open. While the drawer is open, the transaction cannot be ended, and as soon as the drawer is closed, you can end the transaction, and this will log the tool to that user. This user has access to the second and third drawers where they can remove a tool, but they do not have access to the first drawer. If a drawer is open when they try to enter it, there will be a tone played that signifies that they cannot end their transaction yet. You must close the drawer before that happens. Additionally, there is a menu with various features, one of the key features being the ability to see what tools have been removed from the toolbox. So we put in another user code. This one has access to all three drawers. So we'll open the first drawer. This user will remove the first tool, where a light will be indicated right here saying that the tool is missing. When it is pressed, that light is goes down. This lets the user know that they have successfully re-entered their tool. After the transaction ends, you can enter the menu again and check the tool status and you will see that tool one has now been checked out to this new user. In the top of the toolbox we have all of our controllers including three different picks. One controlling the keypad, one controlling the sound, and one controlling all of the tool logging information. We also have an Arduino that controls all of the user information and assigns all of the user tools. Inside the drawers we have Photo interrupter sensors that keep track of our tools and plungers that activate them. We also have a solenoid which drives a four bar linkage that allows us to lock and unlock the drawers. When you move the drawer, looking through the top, you can see the linkage that controls and manages all the wires for the tool drawer.